Hi, I'm learning how to do this because I think this goes in the story. But I'm um, here. I am dealing with my hair because I have a my hair is very complex. But I'm dealing with it. I'm being baby hair today. So I applied um, castor oil to the scalp, and then I put some product on my hair last night that. Um, comes in a green bottle. I post the picture later on, but that I put on last night. And this morning I wash my hair with cold water and I applied um, a expensive uh, sh shampoo to my scalp and then a keratin with conditioner to this part of my hair. So I've been going through quite a health journey uh, since December. Uh, I had a lot of things that I had to cancel. My life has been pretty, pretty, pretty boring. <laughs> but I also have been discovering some things I need to do to improve my health. And that journey always leads me to the question, I don't want to treat the symptoms of what hap has, has happened to me. I want to treat the root causes. And so I've been finding a lot of resources. And currently I'm going to a naturopath, which has really helped me. And, you know, when a woman goes to the doctor, well, sometimes doctors just don't know what to do with them. And they'll send them here and there and here and there. And I just don't want to have that. So I came across a uh, material um, in my research that said, you know, sometimes um, all that a woman struggles with comes from one thing. And in my age group, the things that I'm going through had to do with hormones because women are, are going to change um, at this stage more than men. I really don't know what happens because I haven't done any research about men, but I just know that where I am right now and the things I'm finding out. And I need to just get back to, to a natural lifestyle, which I pretty much was raised with a natural, um, down to earth lifestyle, you know, and for many years I didn't, I didn't wear makeup and I didn't need it really. And then in my 40s, I started wearing makeup and I enjoyed it. I'm not going to like poo-poo the whole thing. I enjoyed the experience. It, it was really fun. But um, I am going to have to change because all those things I put on my face are going to go into my body. And it's my body that struggles. So my body is the one that has to filter all that stuff because like somebody years ago, a nutritionist said, if you can't eat it, you shouldn't put it on your skin. And there's no way a lot of the stuff that we put on, on our skin is something that we can eat. So if you can't eat it, don't put it on your skin. What are the other changes that can be done? Because I don't wear makeup every day. Uh, the things I put in my hair or the things I eat or even brushing my teeth. Um, are things that I can improve. I need to do something about the water we drink. Um, I know there's a problem there, but I can't afford like an expensive system. So I'm trying to figure out like a more affordable, still meet some of the things I want to improve in water. I'm trying to learn about that too. Definitely some of the changes that I've been going through, um, with my hormones, they kind of started a little bit early, which um, kind of wrecked a havoc in my health. Like you go from feeling normal to now you feel really pathetic. But I don't like what's out there to help women. I'm not really satisfied with what they offer. I know some women don't want to see wrinkles in their face or they don't, they want to have a better sleep or better mental clarity and stuff. And, and they'll do and take some stuff for their health, but I also have seen that it also can cause side effects. And so I'm not interested in the side effects. <laughs> so for now, I'm just going um, a more natural route. And we'll see from there. I do feel better in a lot of areas. Um, my sleep did improve. I did have one horrible um, week of sleep. But other than that, um, um, I've had very nice nights. I have energy, but I think I'm still lacking um, more on the energy um, area. And of course, my body still still healing. Um, but um, I'm able to take care of my family, which is very important to me.
If you're still here listening to this, thank you. I know you care. You care. You must be my friend <laughs> to have stayed until this moment. <laughs> you must be somebody that cares about me. But thank you. Thank you for being a great friend, uh, a great relative, whoever you are. Thank you. Thank you. So this is what I do to my hair. Just gonna shake it, lift it. <sighs> my crazy, crazy hair. <sighs> it's, it's wet, so it looks pathetic. 